Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zell Prince. Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, I got another two nukes top five for you guys. This is top five. Sorry, this is top five scary ghost videos that will make you itch a hissy fit. Interesting title. But before we get into today's reaction video, I just want to quickly say that this is the last reaction video I recorded before the surgery. So after this video comes out, I won't. I am uncertain whether or not I will be completely recuperated to start making more videos on the two-day basis that I do. If that's the case, I'll have to change the schedule around to every three days or so, so I can have extra time to recuperate for the first two month or so. Oh, eh. What I could really say and what on scheduling in terms of things, if I don't upload videos for at all. For a couple of days after this one comes out, or if after the last Doom Eternal video comes out, that means I am stopped making videos for a little while so I can recuperate and some time to, you know, get back on. Okay, so I can do this, do these things for you guys. So I just wanted to put that out there really quickly before we got into today's video. And that's really much really to say. So I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' times. Get right into the video in three. Two, one, go. Got for me, Nuke. From the dark doorway, popular Japanese ghost hunters Hiro and Tomo from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film travel to a mysterious abandoned house that is said to be extremely haunted. The story goes that years ago, a married couple was living in the house. The wife descended into madness, and late one night, in a fit of rage, she violently took her husband's life, and then she took her own. Oh, these days the house has the been police. abandoned for. I was gonna say that the police catch her over ten years. No one goes near the place, and it is believed that some evil presence haunts the home. But that doesn't stop the Omagatoki film team. Investigators <laughs> Hiro and Tomo vow to spend the night and explore the infamously haunted so house. Eventually, the two guys decide to split up. Hero goes back to the car and these guys never watch a damn horror film. You do not split up in a big place, let alone a small one. Tomo stays to explore the second floor. As Tomo looks around, he finds an opening into the attic. There he finds old clothes and pictures of the family that once lived there. Tomo calls Hero to tell him what he's found. But there is something else going on that is downright chilling. What else did watch he find? very closely. もしもし。はい。なんか天板が外れて。あ、ゲームラ見たいなのがあったの。なんかすごい飛んだな。雑音がすごい。あ、マジ。いや。やばい。もう I can't see anything. Duke, how did you find this? Tomo experiences odd interference when attempting to phone Hiro. And did you see it? No, oh, Nuke, how did you find Tomo it? I didn't notice, see it. doesn't notice, but someone appears to be peeking out at him from oh. a dark doorway. Completely unaware of what he has just captured, Tomo heads down to the car to meet up with Hiro. How the hell did you see that, Nuke? 
Once he's gone, a static camera captures something absolutely terrifying. Oh, okay, she's in the corner. I see her down there. Hi. Oh, I. <laughs> He's just standing there. Looking at the camera. The figure of a woman can be seen in the doorway, just kind of standing there motionless. Then suddenly, without explanation, the camera just stops recording. When Tomo and Hiro review their footage, they are shocked by what they discover. So could this be the apparition of the woman who went mad inside the house? Or just who can't see any facial features is this. Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire creepy two part investigation over on the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film. Meanwhile, on TikTok, now here we go. TikTok, TikTok user again. Tim Saver says that he's a new night guard. I don't like TikTok <laughs> at an undisclosed facility. He says that he's the only guard willing to work the night shift and for good reason. Why? See, strange and unexplainable things seem to happen in the building in the dead of night. But no one knows why. Over the course of the next week, Tim begins to understand where most of the activity in the building takes place. A creepy abandoned unit just inside the facility. On night 11 at his new job, he leaves his phone to record the abandoned unit as he makes his rounds. An hour into the recording, this happens. Nothing up top. Nothing's punching their way through. A light flashes and a hatch leading to the upper attic space opens and closes on its own. Gathering his courage, Tim grabs a ladder and climbs up into the attic to investigate. Such a what small happens crawl space. next is downright chilling. Lord. Wait, it's wait, go back. Looks like a hand. When he appears back seconds later, it doesn't. You saw it too. I don't like this. Dude, leave. That's metal studs. <laughs> it's sheetrock. <laughs> oh, it's back. Oh my god, there's a hand touching it. Dude, get the f yeah, go, 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 go. I thought that I thought the pipe would, looked like a hand. I didn't realize the hand was touching hand it. Seems to come out of nowhere and wraps around a small statue sitting on the attic oh, floor. What's a statue? Even stranger, I there appears to like be no arm or no body attached to the hand. Tim quickly gets out of there. So, is it real, or is it, it all it just an was elaborate real. TikTok? Hopes. I mean, how do you hide that? You He's decide. moving the camera. You can't. You have to Take be really Brianna. good. You have to be really good to cut out stuff while a camera is moving. You have to go frame by frame. His videos are mostly dedicated to her favorite pastime: free diving in the beautiful waters just off the coast of sunny Florida. 
Now, none of Brianna's videos have anything to do with the supernatural. Well, except for just this one. One afternoon, Brianna is going for a routine dive when she captures something truly chilling. Brianna starts to panic as huh. she hears loud, distressed underwater screams all around her. It sounds like a After child. she surfaces and disturbed by what she just heard, she goes down again to try to figure out just what is going on. For this something time, in the background. There I didn't are see no anything. screams. Brianna is baffled by what just happened and posts her strange, unexplained video to TikTok. Now, of course, many viewers accuse Brianna of adding a fake audio track to her dive video. So, to prove them wrong, Brianna posts again, this time showing the footage directly from her GoPro camera. People are asking what camera I use. GoPro 7 works perfectly fine for me. I cracked it a little bit, but I use a case. Um, definitely not a voiceover though, so I'm gonna show you the video straight out of my GoPro. Just like how I recorded it. Now, when watching Brianna's original video, it looks like she's swimming through some kind of wreckage, possibly that of a sunken ship. Many viewers yeah, believe that she might like have captured ship. the eerie final screams of the ghost of someone who didn't survive the wreck. It sounded like a child was screaming. Paranormal or not, the strange underwater screams are absolutely unnerving. They are. This next creepy video was uploaded to TikTok by Rosie B from Michigan. The home security clip shows Rosie's daughter strolling through the kitchen when the toddler seems to have a very odd and chilling encounter. Box of Temptations. I know that because I give Luna that and she's sitting right over there. Alright, Luna. Hi. One sees you. You can go back to bed. She was napping. Go back to sleep. Literally just At first, said the girl no. appears to be talking to someone that we can't see, when suddenly something seems to try to yank a plastic container of snacks right out of her hand. Whatever it is then seems to go after her toy box. The toddler puts up a fight and wins, and then just walks, and away, walks away, seemingly angry at whoever or whatever was grabbing at her things. Later, when Rosie asks her daughter about what happened, the little girl says that a young boy and girl were trying to take away her toys. But looking at the video, there's just no one there. At least no one that we can see. So is the little girl fighting over toys with the ghosts of two children? 
Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. My Haunted Hotel. Over 400 years ago, all the way back in 1622, the old King's Head Inn was built in Chester, England. It, it is say said that at least 13 England. ghosts haunt the old inn, including a man in black that roams the haunted hotel and the ghost of a young child. The many spirits of the inn are said to frequently interact with visitors and guests, especially in the inn's many bedrooms. Mm. These days, the old King's Head still serves as a hotel bar and restaurant and is now owned by Harry Achilleos. Picture of King as Henry a in the back. Enthusiast the himself, Harry has a grand plan for the old King's Head Hotel. He wants to capture real evidence of paranormal activity at the inn and let hotel guests experience it as well. <laughs> Harry, along with his friends and fellow paranormal <laughs> investigators Brett and Danny, installed 16 live cameras to record multiple angles of every room in the hotel. Visitors can now rent rooms to explore and seek out their own paranormal experience. And they usually find it. The owner and his team <laughs> carefully monitor their guests on the 16 video feeds, both to make sure that everyone is safe and to capture paranormal evidence. The old King's Head team have collected hours of creepy unexplained footage and they share their spookiest moments over on their YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Now the guests that come to the hotel are usually not paranormal investigators in any way. In fact, most of them have never even encountered anything paranormal at all. So sometimes the visitors can be a little bit Jumpy. Overreactive. <laughs> yes, Kirsty is filled with fear when she is asked to investigate the hotel's cellar all by herself. While she's down there alone in the dark, something happens that scares the living sh out of her. Oh, f day. Oh. Oh. Did something move? Oh my god. This is the worst thing I've ever done my whole entire life. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. Oh. Where are you going here? Oh, it's the generator. It's the generator. <laughs> <laughs> They got scared. The eerie silence is suddenly broken by a loud roar as the hotel's generator turns on without <laughs> warning, making poor Christy nearly jump right out of her skin. Even the My Haunted Hotel team jump at the sudden noise, but they quickly laugh it off when they realize that it's just their generator. But then something happens that they just can't explain. What? Oh, what was that though? What? What the hell just happened? What was that? Something just off camera is just... What, just to try and explain here, the, the generator's just gone off in the cellar and Kirsty's obviously cracked herself as it's happened. We, we, it got us, but something has happened here off camera that has made her now run out of the cellar. We have to radio through make sure they're okay. In a bizarre twist. A gigantic bang occurs on what we believe to be the cellar hatch off camera, and it is so loud, it distorts the audio. To cause this loud of a bang means something must have hit the hatch with considerable force, but we find nothing that could have caused this. Oh, that's what that was. Right, we're just heading in now to find the girls. Girls, where are you? Right, what the hell just happened? I am never, ever, ever going in a cellar ever again. <laughs> right, so we saw the generator come on, yeah, which is obviously... Yeah, that scared me. But what, what was it Something off camera? Something just went, boom! So it was 
to your left. We yeah. couldn't see it off camera. Yeah, it was on this side. What was it? Can you try and explain what it was? I don't know. It was like just a big massive bang. <sighs> And then I ran. <laughs> so obviously the generator's not paranormal, but then the no, bang that the you bang hit. The bang was definitely something that was not nothing not like normal. Kirsty says that right after the generator turned off, she heard another completely unexplained loud bang and just made a run for it. Now Kirsty isn't the <laughs> only guest to experience a creepy encounter with the unexplainable. On a different night, guests Janine and Lottie are investigating the hotel's most haunted room. Room 5. Room 5. This room, room is said five. to be a hot spot for paranormal activity. The child ghost that roams the hotel is said to be particularly active in this room. So the space has been decorated with dolls and toys. Oh, well, that's fun. And it seems like the two women might not be alone in there. Hello, children. We've got a toy here. You can change the lights on it. <laughs> Bad bang. <laughs> what was that? Also looking around to see if anything goes on. off. Next door. I don't or know anything if it's next door or not. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Janine and Lottie hear a disturbing bang, but they are unable to locate exactly where it came from. Then a doll sitting on a shelf in the corner falls to the floor all on its own. Janine, Lottie, and the My Haunted Hotel team are all shocked by the experience. But Janine is a bit of a skeptic and attempts to debunk what just happened. But she chooses a very, very odd method to debunk the incident. What did she do? You evil little f Oh, f there you are, look! You evil No, 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 not going off again. Right, you're in the room with us. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> She's not having any of it. <laughs> We're in room five. Started off very quiet, and um, about three quarters of an hour into it, um, we had a huge thud on the wall, and the doll literally flew off the shelf so now we cut to another night weeks later and the scariest moment ever captured inside the hotel occurs when a staff member is simply locking up the downstairs bar for the night as the guests really? are all in their rooms what's that what the f is that watch closely as staff member tom who has just locked the downstairs bar, comes to drop the keys off. And as he enters the function room, a clear baby crying is heard coming from the old brothel. This is one of the clearest pieces of DVP, direct voice phenomena, we have ever captured. And Tom is left in pure shock, as are the team. You can hear them running in the background. I don't see a baby. Yeah. Huh? You said yeah, Who said yeah? Me. Did you see a baby? I didn't that, yeah. See a baby crying. <laughs> Sounds closer in that one. When you hear them run, looking for a kid. I don't see a baby! Yeah. Huh? You said yeah, Tom? Who said yeah? Me. Did you see a baby? Uh, yeah. You see a baby crying! What the f The guys are shocked when the eerie sound of a crying baby can be heard echoing throughout the hotel's restaurant. 
Now, to be clear, there were no children of any age in the entire building, and the guys find nothing. So could it be that centuries of history have left ye old king's head as a bizarre paranormal hotspot? Let me know in the comments. You can watch many more guest spooky experiences and terrifying check out overnight encounters guys over on the, the YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Weird World. South Haven, Michigan resident Jennifer says she was at a festival when she noticed something very odd going on in the sky above her. She grabbed her phone and started to record. All right, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. No. But it sounds like it's moving. Now, Jennifer claims that the small airplane had been flying in the same spot, not moving at all, for hours before she finally decided to grab her phone and record the video. As you can see in the clip, many others also noticed the strange plane and filmed it as it is seemingly frozen in the sky. Could it be that Jennifer captured a quote, glitch in the matrix? I've heard of those. Or is there some simpler explanation? You tell me. Keepers of the old church. I've Where? heard of Glitch in the Matrix being talked about quite a couple times over the last few years of me looking into the paranormal. Basically, like, in things where reality don't work the way they're supposed to. Better. Better. Um... But I've never seen it like that. I've seen it in other ways, such as in the Matrix, have, but I don't know if they're real. There's no true method of truly explaining if they're real or not. So, I don't know, it just seems strange to me. Anyway, let's continue. Paranormal investigators Jeff and Phil from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigation set out to investigate rumors of an allegedly haunted church before. deep in the woods of Bedham, England. The Old Mission Church. The brick and stone church was built in 1880 and served as both a school for local children and as a place for Sunday worship for the town. But years later, the small town around the church was touched by tragedy. In 1919, a devastating influenza outbreak took the lives of nearly half of the town's children and many adults. The church slash school fell into a state of decay. It was eventually forced to close in 1959, as the aging structure had become hazardous and unsafe. The historic building is now in ruins, but the church grounds is said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of long ago. Witnesses have reported hearing the unexplained then. voices of children, and some even claim to have seen strange shadow figures roaming inside the church. She's sleeping. As they begin, Jeff and Phil set up multiple static cameras, now, the ghost tech guys always try to stay calm during their paranormal investigations. And after many years, yeah, Jeff I've and seen Phil these guys aren't before. easily shaken. But they start to experience some highly unusual activity. It's just been a long time since I've seen a video with them in it. That even seems to make them a bit nervous. Well, look, as I was saying, you know, I'd asked for your name. And it may well be that you've told me your name and I just can't hear it. You, you have to shout as loud as you can. Um, something touched my hand. Something just touched my hand. Okay. Sorry. Please excuse me jumping back. But I felt... you. It felt like you brushed through my hand then. Let me introduce myself. My name's Jeff. And my friend and colleague standing there holding a camera his name is Phil so as I thought I could hear children's voices earlier can I ask if any children can come forward come inside the church and say hello to us please now back in the old days, when I say old days, I mean hundreds of years ago, 
there used to be a settlement here. And uh, they used to cut wood. We've been told that there was kilns here. So it was a tiny, tiny little village. And I guess that this church was the centre of that village. Heard some. That was a voice, Phil. I heard that too. So it was a tiny, tiny little village. And I guess that this church was the centre of that village. Oh. I heard a sound. That was a voice, Phil. Bill says something touches his hand and Jeff hears the voice of a child that is captured by his EVP recorder. But that's certainly not all that happens this night. Because as they continue to ask questions, they capture something truly bizarre on multiple cameras. How it must have been different when the building had a roof, so doors, windows, Perhaps pews? Ooh. What was that, Jeff? A black mast went right in between me and you and went over here. I didn't see it. Say that one more time for me, guys. Could you come back, please? A black shadow moves in between Phil and I and it is captured on all of our cameras. Here is the footage taken from Static Cam 1, followed by the footage on all three cameras from all angles. I didn't see a black. Perhaps pews? Ooh. Oh. What I thought like, you meant like black shadow of like a person going straight in between them. I didn't see it. Perhaps pews? Ooh. What was that, Jeff? A strange shadow passes between Jeff and Phil, but because they're filming in the dark with infrared, Phil just can't see it. However, Jeff spots the figure on their infrared camera and is shocked. The two other static cameras also manage to capture the creepy event. So the two investigators take a break from filming to review their footage, but leave the static cameras to record while they're gone. After they leave, the camera inside the church captures another strange event that Jeff and Phil simply can't explain. Oh, Black Mass is back. There he goes, he's walking across. So, could the church be haunted by the children who tragically lost their lives in the 1919 influenza outbreak? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't noticed already, my upload schedule is uh, just weird these days. Yeah. So please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're always notified when a new video goes up. You can also follow me on Instagram. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. I'm not so sure when I'll be back. I should be back before Halloween. Anything? Record some more Nukes Top 5 videos for you guys. But other than that, I have nothing else scheduled for right now. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe all stuff, guys, and I will see you when I get back from surgery. Bye!